hey, what's new? Hey, the same thing. You know, we're trying to make sure that children decode dyslexia, that they are empowered, that their weaknesses are not the emphasis, but their strengths are. And we're trying to address all learning differences and all cultural backgrounds. So you're based in Nebraska. Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. But we're doing wonderful things in Nebraska. We just got legislation passed. This was passed January. It's called LB 1052. And it makes sure that all schools recognize dyslexia without parents having to get a medical diagnosis before they can get help. So that's good. And then next year, we'll implement the second phase of it, which would include teacher training. Didn't you open up a reading center or something? Yes, I did. It's called Voice Advocacy Center, and we help children and teenagers who struggle to read, write, and spell due to dyslexia specifically. So all of our tutors are trained in an Orton-Gillingham approach to help children who learn differently with dyslexia. Children are not only being empowered to read, but they're being empowered socially and emotionally, because a lot of times children who have been falling through the cracks are left just broken. In the state of Nebraska, I'm now a recognized Supreme Court mediator. And one of the things I'm trained in is victim youth conferencing, which is dealing with youth who are involved in the juvenile justice center. So we want to merge those two loves because a lot of the children that are in the juvenile justice center have reading issues. So we want to address two things at one time. But early intervention keeps you out of the juvenile oh, detention. Yes, absolutely. Right? And that's what we want ultimately. But we also know that there are a lot of our children that are already in there and we don't want to forget them. But early intervention is key. So we want to get kids, when they're young, when parents first yes. see their kids in there, if there's a struggle and the school says just wait a while, they should probably just reach out to the, to the Decoding Dyslexia folk first. Absolutely. Reach out to Decoding Dyslexia Nebraska or any Decoding Dyslexia chapter in whatever state you're in. We're everywhere, including Canada. So reach out to us. Everywhere. We got you. Yes. Everywhere, including Canada. Everywhere, including Canada. I mean, that's Canada. everywhere. It's powerful work. Powerful, powerful work. I'm ecstatic to do it. So we are very accessible. We're on social media, on Facebook, we're on uh, Instagram, we're also on Twitter. And we also have a website through uh, Voice Advocacy Center, which is a, a partner of ours, which we do tutoring through that center as well. We want you to contact us and make sure that you have the information that you need to ensure that your children is getting a proper education. All right. We're loving it. All yes, right, guys. Yes. Thank you very much. Much this love. My best friend right here. We love it. the work he's doing. Dyslexia the movie. Changing the world, man. Yes, we are.